Hi, I'm Stephanie Benedetto, coach, storyteller, and unmarketer at The Awakened Business. Welcome to Wild Spire Sparks, mini musings on my journey as a lovable human mess, shared in the hopes of sparking insight and beautiful feelings in you. I just realized something that I do, that we do as humans, it is absolutely impossible and doomed to fail. What we want, what I want, is to feel good, is to feel the way good feels for me, always. And so to do that, what I end up doing is spending my time now trying to plan and control and set up my life so that I will feel that way, so that I will feel good. The problem is that it's impossible. I can't possibly know how I will feel five minutes from now, let alone five days, five years from now. I can't possibly orchestrate a life that will make me feel anything because the circumstances of my life do not create how I feel. Yet, I will spend my time thinking and obsessing and stressing myself. Now, in order to try to control something in the future that is impossible for me to control or influence because I'm not there. You see this, this craziness that is so normal for us as humans? Where is the place that I have that influence? Where is the place that I can actually see a choice available in how I feel the only place is right here, in this moment, not even today, this moment. That's it. I can show up here relaxed and peaceful. I can show up here with whatever grace I see available in any circumstance, in any feeling, in any experience. That's it. That's what I have. In this moment, it looks so clear to me that spending my time stressing myself about anything that isn't under my influence right now is crazy. And not only crazy, it's completely ineffective. <laughs> and not only ineffective, it creates the opposite experience that I actually desire. It creates stress, it creates tension in the only space that's available for me to actually relax and feel good. This is so prevalent. It's so human to want to predict and create the things that will keep us feeling good. And trying to do that keeps me from feeling good right now. <laughs> I don't expect that even as I see this, it will cure me from doing it, will stop me from doing it. I'm quite certain that as long as I'm here in this body, I will keep trying to create the experience I want through what looks like the circumstances and experiences that will give it to me. But that doesn't mean that I need to be lost to that. So 
So today, while I'm seeing this, I'm just going to sit here and be in this moment. And notice how precious it is. And notice how it holds all the things that I want to create for myself in the future. That I don't actually need to do anything and go anywhere to get it. And then I'll see what occurs to me to do here. I think that might be a really lovely way to live. Thanks so much for listening. If you'd like to receive a weekly Wildspire email with future podcast episodes, stories, and insights from my spiritual and business journey, go to theawakenedbusiness.com forward slash Wildspire. Until next time, may you know yourself as the gorgeous wild creation you are.